In the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Almighty God has stated in the Holy Quran, an important aspect of the conquest of Holy Mecca by the Holy Prophet of Islam and it could be said that it is exceptional in the entire history of humankind it is the story of Safan bin Umayyah. This person was an arch enemy against Islam for more than 20 years. At the conquest of Mecca, when the Holy Prophet of Islam entered this holy city, the Prophet granted this person an amnesty. This person asked for a time of two months in order to think over becoming Muslim. The Prophet gave him four months. The Prophet had given him an endless time because the Prophet would not mind non-Muslims living in the city. During that period, the pagans in one of the cities in Hijaz started a campaign against the Holy Prophet. They actually created and imposed a new war against Islam. This story is really exceptional. You can find this story in Bihar al Anwar. That the Holy Prophet said to this person, Safan bin Umayyah, who was a tradesman and a supplier of weapons, the Prophet said to this man that we have an upcoming war and the enemies are attacking us and we need to defend and for that we need some weapons. The Prophet asked Safan to give him some armors as a loan. Before that, I would just explain to you about the concept of loan in Islam. When you borrow something from a person, the owner cannot mind the usage of that thing. But there is a difference between that and loaning. Sometimes you take a book from a friend as a loan or a tool to use. So in, in this case, the Prophet wanted those armors in order to use them during the war. Now that if the, those armors were broken during that process, which was the war, 
گرفته این آریه را اگر تقصیر در حفظ The recipient of those armors which was the holy prophet of Islam should not be held accountable for those armors being destroyed. This is in Islamic terms called Ariye. And there are no guarantees on how the objects are used in the country that is called Ariye. When the Holy Prophet of Islam asked Safwan to give him some armors, Safwan asked the Prophet that, are you going to take these armors by force from me? The Prophet said, no. We will have it like a loan, like a something to be borrowed. However, the Holy Prophet guaranteed that he will return the armors. Usually, in the ca in normal cases of Arya, there are no guarantees of returning the object safely. But in this case, the Holy Prophet himself declared that he would return those armors safe and sound. Well, that was a war and armors were actually used in the war and they could be destroyed. However, the Holy Prophet promised that he will return those armors and he will guarantee any losses. It is an exceptional part of the history. We have read a lot of stories in history and we have seen a lot of instances in our current and contemporary history. There are many revolutions in many Muslim countries since 1952 up, to, up until now. In every revolution, so many properties were confiscated by the ruling government. Many of the wars that are ongoing in our world today, when the winning side is stable, they treat their, their enemy so savagely and they confiscate their property. So much properties were confiscated by the so-called Muslim leaders in the recent history. There were many cases in Iraq. Not only the properties of those people were confiscated, but also the properties of their relatives were also confiscated. However, the Holy Prophet of Islam never did confiscate any property from the enemies. When the Holy Prophet left Holy Mecca, his personal house was confiscated by the pagans. It was a very usual, and it is currently a very usual norm to confiscate properties. And you see that Safan has the courage to ask the Prophet 
to ask the Prophet whether he's supposed to give these armors by force or on a lease. This person just ran away from the Prophet after the conquest because he feared for his life, and now he finds this courage to ask such questions from the Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet of Islam and Islam are so innocent of the crimes and accusations that are cast against them in our today's history. All these realities must be introduced to the world. This single story tells a lot about the real conduct of Islam with its enemies. The Prophet gave a public pardon to all the enemies, including Safwan. And if Safwan had not converted to Islam, the Prophet would never mind him. After 20 years of working against Islam and imposing so much damage and loss on the Muslim Ummah, the Prophet just granted him a pardon. This is a collective duty by the Muslims, and since this duty is not fulfilled by the collective society, it is obligated. It is an obligation on all Muslim individuals to propagate and unfold the reality of Islam to the entire world. So that these shining parts of the history of the Holy Prophet of Islam become known to the whole world. And then people will have the ch chance to whether decide to accept this holy faith or not. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household. Shoot, 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 shoot,